Hello, this is Pinky, and this is going to be a tutorial on making your avatar quest compatible. So to get started, we're going to find our avatar we actually want to convert over to quest. We're going to hit on these three dots. We're going to hit open project folder, and then we're going to go back one, and this will locate our actual folder here. And next we're going to hit copy, and then go to a new space and hit paste, and this will create a duplicate of the project itself. So we'll just wait for this to happen. Okay, now that we have that, I'm going to rename this over to Quest so that we know what it is. And then I'm going to head up here and hit copy on this part. Now we're gonna head over to our creator companion. We're gonna drop this down at existing project. We're going to paste it up here. That means that we now know where it's located and we're gonna hit select folder. Now this will create the Quest version here. And so we're gonna be doing all our work in this project. So next I'm gonna hit open project and wait for it to load. Okay, now that we have loaded in, I'm going to go up to VR Chat SDK, hit Show Control Panel. I'm going to head over to Builder, and now as you can see, we'll have the name and the description from the last project. I will leave a link to that in the description if you are interested. Otherwise, we're going to head over to Selected Platforms, and we're going to change this over to Android. Now this will, as it says, could take a little bit of a while, so after you hit Confirm, be aware that it will take between 5 and 10 minutes. Okay, and now that that is done, I'm going to head over to this default format for Android and hit auto fix. And now all I'm going to do is close this project. I'm going to hit save of, co of course first. And so this will save and then close the project. And after this is done, I'm going to just reopen it. So I will give it a little bit. Okay, now that it's done, I'm going to head over and open the project again. So this was basically just a refresh Unity, so that some errors that sometimes don't pop up will now pop up. And so, as you can see, we have some errors on this project, so I'm just going to hit ignore, and this will allow us to open up a project. So I'll give it a few seconds to do so as well. Okay, and now that we are in, if we head over to VRChat SDK and hit Show Control Panel, and we go over to the builder and in just a few seconds as this is still loading in now you can see that we have way more errors than we did before and so we're going to go through and actually fix these so the first one is the basically telling us that some components aren't supported on the quest client and will be removed so we're just going to hit auto fix for that this may break some things with your avatar but that is also mean it's not supported on quest now, the next error will be the Fizzbone components. So we're going to go around and delete some of those. So to get started, I'm going to go to the head and I'm going to delete the ear Fizzbones off my avatar. And if you don't know what those look like, if you click on your avatar and you have this little thing enabled, the gizmos button, you'll basically see all these blue and green lines are colliders and Fizzbones. And so we basically just have to delete some of those. So I'm going to go to the ear over here, as you can see. This is the ear, and then we're just going to head over to the side and remove the fizzbone component from it. Now we're going to do the same to the head. So if you click on the head, you'll notice there's a big circle here that I'm gonna wanna remove. So I'm gonna go over to the head collider, go over to the side here and hit remove component. Now that that is done, there are, are some on the legs as well that I'll get rid of. So we're gonna go over to the legs here, and then we're gonna go to lower leg, and as you can see, there's one here that I will remove and I will do the same to the other one. And after those are removed, there are also these fizz bones here on this other side. So I will remove those ones as well. Okay, and now that that is removed, if we go back to that VRChat SDK show screen, 
you can now see that it has disappeared from down here. Now, next we need to do materials. So what I'm going to do and what I'd recommend doing is go to your first mesh or your body mesh here. And we're going to click on this little drop down right up here. And we're going to go to VR chat. We're going to go to mobile and we're going to just switch it to tune lit. And we're going to do that for all of them here. So VR chat, mobile, tune lit. And then same here, VR chat, mobile, tune lit. Now you'll notice that some textures may change and you may need to edit them. And if you're interested in doing that, you will have to just click on this part here, hit select, and then you can pick from any texture what to change it to. Since that didn't happen for me, I won't be doing that. But in the case that it does for you, that is how you do so. Now, next we'll be optimizing the actual textures here. And so when you click here, it should highlight down here. And if you click on it, you can see the size. Now we're, we're wanting to aim for around 1K to 2K. So anything above that, we're going to want to downsize. And as an example, if I head over to the robot and I go to the base material body here and I click on this, you can see that it's at 4K. This will make the avatar much harder to upload and may actually even prevent you from doing so. So what I'm going to do is change it to 2K and I'm going to hit apply. And this will take a few seconds and then it's done. Now, lastly, we have the hair here. So for this, I'm actually going to change it to VR chat mobile and I'm going to change it to standard light. Now, what this allows me to do is edit some of this stuff here. And so for the normal map, I'm actually going to remove this. And so this will remove some texture, but it also optimizes it. Same with the details mask. And now finally for the albino, also known as the actual texture itself, we can actually change the color. So in my case, I'm going to pick a kind of pink and I'm going to change my avatar's hair color to match that. And now that is done. We have to go back to the VRChat SDK, hit show control panel. And now, as you can see, we have no hexagon errors and we can actually select this and we can properly build and publish. Now that this is done, we can hit this and it will be ready to upload. And so we will just wait for this to show up and see if we get any more errors. There we go, upload succeeded. We have our avatar on VRChat. And now we can hit this to see it on the VRChat website. And as it loads up, if you scroll to the bottom here, you should be able to see that the quest platform has been created, which means our avatar is now quest compatible. Well, this was a little tutorial showing you how to make your avatar quest compatible. If this has helped you at all, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any issues or need to reach out, you can both use the description and my Discord server linked in the bottom. Either way, thank you for watching. Uh, this has been Pinky, and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Hello, this is Pinky, and this is me thanking my Patreons for this month. Those being Howler Von Baron, Cupid Fox, Dreaded, Blue Nino One, Emerald Null, Tef, Sir Fappingson, Hamu, The Maple Proto, and a big thank you to my YouTube members being Blue Nino One and Hydro19. What you guys do help support make videos like this, and it helps put food on my table. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you are interested in getting a little goober as well, link in the description. Anyways, have an amazing rest of your day.